Oh man, I'm not gonna lie, I'm so happy this project is over, but wow, is it worth it. This is a 2016 Cadillac ATS. These headlights, to the best of my knowledge, I've only seen them modified once on the ye old interwebs. Uh, first of all, they're really big, they're really long, they got that beautiful, like, drawn out shape. So, double oven came in handy for that. Uh, also, man, the perma seal on this thing, that's probably the toughest I've ever run into. That was more like just straight plastic welded. But anyway, got them open, got them apart. Did a projector upgrade on these. So that is the Morimoto Mini D2S projector assembly in there, replacing out the OEM assembly. Uh, let's see, we also installed an 18 inch switchback strip, a uh, profile pivot on each side. So it's got a really cool modern style running light now. And rather than uh, that guy, which is also a switchback bulb, so we disconnected the running light on that, so it's just a running light strip, but then the blinker is uh, both the bulb and the strip. So that's real cool. So let me put that into action for you. All right, so we've got the strip on now. Uh, obviously it's really bright, so who knows if that camera is gonna actually pick this up and make it look decent, but that's a very modern style. Uh, most of the Cadillacs are pulling that look now off anyway, so uh, that's cool. Makes it look nice. This is our turn signal, or currently as I have the hazard on, but as you can see, we've got the profile pivot LED bulb at the bottom, as well as the profile pivot strip. So that's really nice. And now I have turned on the headlight itself. We're running the Hilux ballast in this bad boy. I, man, you can't really tell anything from this, but uh, it's bright. It actually, actually, I'm not gonna lie, man, the beam pattern on this is beautiful. Uh, the factory halogen is horrendous. That's the nicest way to put it. Uh, so what we originally did was we did an HID swap and uh, like I said with the Hilux ballast and the Morimoto bulbs and it was better but still a lot of glare and so that isn't right. Putting a HID and a halogen projector isn't the proper solution. Uh, it should be considered more of a temporary solution or like a stepping stone to a full retrofit which is what this one was. Uh, so now we have a HID projector uh, running HID bulbs, exactly as it should be. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13. Uh, pricing and product information will be in the video description. And if you're interested in a build for yourself, please shoot me an email at 13 at by13.com. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you later. See you.